A Surtees Cisco security officer, deployed to the Singapore Police Force SPF, decided to accept bribes from a sex enhancement drug peddler at Geelang, in exchange for not taking enforcement action. Mohammad Hafizuddin Henopia split the money with another Surtees Cisco auxiliary police officer. He received only 70 Singapore dollars 52 US dollars before the authorities got wind of their actions. On Wednesday, January 17, Hafizuddin was sentenced to three months and two weeks jail. He was also ordered to pay a penalty of 70 Singapore dollars to disgorge his ill-gotten gains. He pleaded guilty to a corruption charge. Another charge of criminal breach of trust by pocketing seized illegal sex enhancement drugs worth 106 Singapore dollars for his own use was taken into consideration for sentencing. The court heard that since mid-2022, Hafiz had been part of a foreign workers' management team responsible for patrolling the area around Geelang Lorong 17 to 25, 30 and 40. He was employed by Dynamis Security and contracted to Certis Cisco as a security officer and in turn deployed to SPF. SPF had formed foreign workers' management teams to patrol areas where foreign workers congregate as part of its efforts to enforce law and order. Each team comprised auxiliary police officers who were armed and in uniform and security officers who were unarmed and in polo t-shirts. SPF entered into a contract with Certis Cisco to supply officers for these teams. The officers would patrol, specify areas and enforce various regulations against offences such as littering, the sale of contraband cigarettes, and sales of illegal sex enhancement drugs and pills. When they encountered such offences, the officers had to detain the offenders, seize any illicit items and inform the police. If the offenders could not be detained, they had to seize the items and take them to a designated police station to lodge a seizure report. Then hand over the items to the police. Around May 2022, Hofizuddin hatched a plan with another team member, Auxiliary Police Officer True Morgan Shanmugam, a 30-year-old Malaysian. True had been in a foreign workers' management team since 2015. The plan involved obtaining gratification from sex enhancement drug peddlers whom they encountered during their patrols. In return for taking money from them, the pair would refrain from taking law enforcement action as required by the police. They approached one such peddler, Chinese national Chen Zixiong, whom they had previously encountered during their patrols. From May to June 2022, Hofizuddin abetted True on two occasions to obtain 140 Singapore dollars in bribes. They split the money equally. To pull off the plan, True and Hofizuddin first seized the sex enhancement drugs from Chen as per protocol. They then kept a portion without reporting it to the police, with Hofizuddin taking a photo of the drugs and sending it to True. After the rest of their team left, True secretly approached Chen in person and offered to return the portion of the seized drugs if Chen agreed to pay a specific sum of money. The sum would be a few times higher than the price of the drugs. True also showed Chen the photo that Hafizuddin had taken. When Chen agreed, he then placed the cash in a cigarette box and put it at a location as instructed by True over WhatsApp or Telegram. True or Hofizuddin would collect the money and return the sex enhancement drugs to Chen by telling him to pick them up from a specified location. On some occasions, the officers also tip Chen off about law enforcement raids, including when and where the team would conduct patrols. The cop further heard that Chen agreed to the plan so he would not get into trouble with the law and also out of fear of the repercussions if he was to refuse. The Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau received information about Truce and Hofizuddin's offences on August 29, 2022. 
Hafizuddin was placed on a stop list and arrested at Woodlands Checkpoint about two weeks later. For corruption, he could have been jailed for up to five years, fined up to 100,000 Singapore dollars, or both. True and Chen have been charged in court in their cases are pending.